hello guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab so first of all just me start the lab and once done with that now here you can see task number one just me click over here and here you can see this dialog flow link just me log in with this particular link once you do that then you will get this kind of pop-up then click on the checkbox and then click on this accept over here then just me click on this dialog flow cx over here like this way wait for a second from here just me choose your project id and then just me click on this enable api over here sometime what happen you might get a pop-up like enable billing and if you get that kind of pop-up just me click on the cancel over here and it's done now just me click on this create agent over here and from here just me choose build your own like this way now for the agent name just me come back over here scroll down a little bit and from here you can see this agent name so just me copy this thing carefully come back over here and paste now for the location you can see for me the given location is us based one so i'm going to choose that for you it might be different so just me choose accordingly that like this way then click on this create button over here like this now just me wait for a couple of seconds and it's done now just me click on this agent settings over here scroll down and here you can see enable cloud login just me click on the checkbox and then click on the save button over here wait for a second and it's done now what you do just me come back to the live instructions and just me scroll down and click on the check my progress for the task number one just simply wait until and unless you get a score on the task number one sometime it might take a couple of minutes to get a score but do not move forward with another task until and unless you get a score over here once you get a score over here now what you do in the description box of this video i will share one github link just me click on that link and then you are able to access this document first of all what you do you have to just me download this file so just me open this link in new tab like this way Come back over here okay now click on this download button over here like this way wait for a second and it's downloaded now just me come back over here click on this agents over here and from here just me choose view all agent click on this three dots and then click on this restore then just me choose upload and just me upload the file which you just downloaded like this way wait for a second and here you can see file name then click on this restore over here and just me wait And it's done now if you just may come back to the github repo over here now what you do first of all we have to create a two versions okay after that we have to create a two environment so first of all copy this name carefully do not copy this last full stop copy like this come back over here click on this manage over here scroll down and here you can see versions just may click over here then click on this and then click on this create over here just may paste the name like this way and then click on this save then copy the second name copy like this Again, just me click over here. Again, click on this create and just me paste over here. And then again, click on this save. Wait for a second. Now again, just me click on the name over here. And here you can see status of both the version. So they are not ready. So you have to just me wait until this status show as a ready. Otherwise, what happen when you try to create environments? That time you will face an error because your status is not ready for your version. So just me wait for a couple of seconds over here. And both the versions are now ready now just me come back over here and from here you can see environment so just me copy this name come back over here click on this environments then click on this create and now just me paste the name over here now for the display name qa you have to just me use the version v1 make sure that for the qa you have to use a v1 version so just me come back over here now and from here just me choose a ua like this way okay then click on this save over here and it's done now what you do we have to again create a second version just scroll down and here you can see second version name so just me copy that again click on this create and just me paste over here now for the day version just me choose a version 2 okay you can see this is a version 2 if you do not follow this step then you won't get the full score on the lab just me click on the save and it's done now what you do just me click on this test agent over here like this way and here you can see environment if you just me click over here and from here you can see draft qa and dev now you have to just me test your agent on all this environment so first of all we are going to test on the draft over here so just me choose that come back over here and from here just me copy this name copy like this and paste over here and hit enter button wait for a second and you will get a this kind of output now again click on this reset over here now second time we are going to choose 
two way just simply choose that again just simply paste the name and hit enter wait for a second and it's done now again just simply click over here now this time we are going to choose development again just simply paste the name and again click on this enter wait for a second and it's done now you have done with all these three environment now if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab without any issue sometimes it might take to update the score but don't worry about that just simply wait and keep it on check my progress and you will get a score for sure and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys